Catching up here with former Chicago State men's basketball star Glenn Burns, who grew up in West Memphis, then played in Chicago, and now he's very far from Chicago, out in Swelm, Germany, playing for EN Baskets in the Euro League. Hey, Glenn, what's up? How's it going out there? Uh, every, it's going great, you know. Um, loving the view, loving the, the scenery, you know, loving the people. They loving me, you know, just enjoying the moment loving the people they're loving me that sounds like a pretty good life sure Sure. glenn you mentioned the view and i see a window right next to you so can you show all of us a little glimpse of your Um, view right now right now it's kind of you know uh, it's raining but you know it's it's a it's pretty much a nice view you know like i can see like the whole like when the sun now i can see like every apartment over there every house Uh you know i really got a real top view but you know it's raining right now, so you really can't see. It's fine. Yeah, it's, it's a rainy nice day here, have, too. Nice <laughs> yeah. Well, it looked beautiful. My what would time. you say, Glenn, is the biggest difference? I'm just talking on the basketball court between playing in America and playing in Europe. Um, you know, in America, it's 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 more so of you know athleticism. In Europe, it's more so skill. You know, you, like they, they teach and preach skill and team oriented basketball. And, you know, whether when in America, you know, it's all about your jumping ability and, you know, your athleticism. That's like a big difference. So is that hard for you to adjust to? Um, No, not really. You know, not really. But um, my first year it was it was it was hard to adjust to. But, you know, I got adjusted really well. But now, you know, I'm four years in pro, so, you know, it's pretty easy now. Flashing back a little to your time at Chicago State, did you think when you were here and you were a Cougar and you were doing it at the D1 level, did you think that you would eventually play overseas? Yes. I knew I was a pro from, you know, not to sound cocky or anything, but I knew I was a pro from, like, I always knew I was a pro. I always knew, like, I always had the body, I always had the mind, like, what I wanted to do with myself and what I wanted to do with my life. I always had a positive mindset. I always had my head on in the right direction. I just knew I was a pro before I was a pro. You mentioned positive mindset, and I can tell you're a guy who believes in yourself and, as you're telling me, always has. What have you found about that positive mindset and how it translates to your success on the court? Um, positive. It's just, you know, just, just, just uplifting people, you know, cause you know, a lot of people, they, they, they get real down on themselves really, really quick. And, you know, just me being there and just, you know, I'm always smiling and I'm always a joyful guy. Just them seeing my smile and me going up to the, them talking to them and, you know, telling them to keep their head up and, you know, next play, you know, they, 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 they thrive off that. They like that. I mean, you're making me smile a lot. You tell me that the people in Germany love you. I see why love they you. love you. Yeah. Yeah. So, Glenn, Pretty how honest. much uh, – give me a lesson or two from your time at Chicago State and learning here in college that you still take with you now in this new environment and playing out in Germany. Um. Just hard work. Like, Eddie, I don't know if you've met him, but Eddie Denard, you know, he really pushed us to be the best that we can be. You know, Eddie Denard, he was a guy that did pretty much everything. Like, you know, he 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 did the waking up at five in the morning. You know, we running on a track. He pushing us. He, he we lifting weights. You know what I'm saying? Then we have a practice right after that. He, he's getting up coming 45 minutes away you know, to the gym every morning. He's there before some of the players. He's more dedicated. He was really more dedicated than some of the players, you know, and just having that guy around, he's really like a big brother. He really became my big brother while I was there. Um, And, you know, just having him around and having his energy, he always got, like, positive energy and, like, energy that just gets you going. And, you know, like, I needed that around me and just just him pushing us to, to just work hard, and I took that with me. And now you have that 
out there in Germany. And it strikes me that that is totally independent of the style of play, right? Whether it's this athletic style or a skill-based style, if you, if you work hard, you'll have success and you're having a lot of success, Glenn, give me an idea from your perspective of how you think it's going on the court right now. Um, right now it's, it's going well. I mean, us as a team, you know, with two games in, we have a game this weekend. We have a game every weekend, you know, we, we're on two right now. So as a team, we're struggling, but you know, I know we're going to get it together. Like we just have to build more chemistry and, you know, like, from me, I have to communicate more. I have to talk more because I'm more of a guy that lead by example. I'm not, and you know, I have to work on my, you know, my my vocal leading. But I lead by example, and they, you know, a lot of guys follow me, you know. But I have to work more on my vocal leading, and we're we're, we're going to be okay. We're going to be okay because we're a very talented team. So the basketball is one thing, but the culture and the food is another. And anyone who's watched my interviews knows that. I can only make it like seven, eight minutes without talking about food. So what's your yeah, favorite yeah. part of the German cuisine? Um, I eat a lot of, they really have a lot of um, American food. They have a lot of like burgers and stuff, but like, um, I just like the, the rice, you know, a lot of rice with a lot of, you know, um, like pasta I, I really eat a lot of pasta out here that's pretty much like everything huh. like everything i eat pasta yeah okay you ever eat like brats and yeah schnitzel that yeah i mean stuff? they have a lot they have a lot of them i i eat really i eat one of those like pretty much every day like oh, okay. i get like pasta i get like rice with with pasta and i get you know a brock or some things like that you know you're out there. You're so far away. We got like a seven hour time difference, but what's a message that you would like to send back here to Chicago state from Germany? Dedicate yourself to your sport. You know, don't give up. Just always have that positive mindset and, you know, just, just have that will to work harder and just be the best that you all can be, you know? And, and, and when you all, if you all was to start losing, just come together, you know, be a more of a team and, and a family chemistry. You know what I'm saying? Like if you was, if you all build that, then it is going to translate on the, on the court, just do more things outside of the court or outside of you all feel. And, and, and it's going to translate and not just partying, you know, like I'm talking about like, just go bowling or just go out to eat with each other, you know, and, and if you all was to do that and, you know, you all enjoying each other's time, you know, it's going to translate on the court and you all is going to start playing better. Wise words from Glenn Burns. Sure. Thank you, my friend. Sure. Thank you.